Zambezi Valley Shangan Quartz from the Chibuku deposit in Zimbabwe. Now I'm going to keep this a little bit of a distance away from the camera just to give you an accurate indication of the actual specimen. Intensely dark amethyst crystal with a mild coating of iron oxides across the face, almost a grey coating. You can see there, totally see-through, a lot of hematite inclusion in here. A uh, base over here, tiny little crystal growing on that side. Little quartz crystal there with a mild infusion of amethyst. What is quite amazing about these is just the, first of all, the form of these crystals and the uh, the richness of color. And they compare very fibery with the quartzes from the Brandberg. The only thing is the Brandberg quartzes have a lot more fire or they're not as dark as these guys. These guys are intensely dark. Hence, very, very difficult to me to for me to photograph. I do have quite a few of these at the moment, and I'm just struggling immensely to photograph them. So what I usually do, I keep them back for for another day when my photographic skills have have grown. Let's just zoom in on that. There you can see, actually see through around the edges. So with intense lighting, would go right through the specimen, and you'd have this this dark amethyst explosion, a little bit of contact on the main termination, but hardly, hardly noticeable. And angles to, to actually display where you wouldn't notice it. Look at that. The bright light from behind you'd see right through the sky. Of course, from the Chibuku deposit, uh, uh, Zimbabwe in the Zambezi Valley, mined by the, the local Shangan uh, people.